Hi. How are y'all today? Volunteers are at the heart of the programs run by the Ronald McDonald House. They help make the house and the family room comfortable and supportive places for families. Volunteers are often the first voice heard on the telephone and the first smiling face seen at the door. A core group of volunteers have dedicated 25 years of support, sweat, and lots of love to the Ronald McDonald House. One of those volunteers, Barbara Speller. I couldn't ever imagine not being involved in this house. It means um, just a sense of fulfillment for me. It gives me a purpose of doing something useful with my life and helping these, these families go through terrible times. It is just heartbreaking to see some of these families with their children come in and they don't know which way to turn. They don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. And there is such a support system here for them in, in every aspect of their lives that, um, you know, it's just so gratifying. It's just gratifying to be able to do that to help people like that. Barbara encourages others to visit the house and consider volunteering. So many people have no idea. A lot of people will send in a check because they hear something for the telecast or, you know, volunteer in the golf tournament. But they don't really know anything in the house. And I'm always trying to get people to come over here to see, just actually see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. This is a home for these families. I mean, it is a home. The people that volunteer here stay. They don't try it out for a week or two and then say, I can't, I can't do this anymore. We have really have a lot of long-term volunteers here that are very committed to this house. Whether volunteers are planning and coordinating an evening activity, supplying and cooking a meal for the families, or committing to a volunteer shift, the volunteers make the house more like the home. Judy Wolfsberger began volunteering even before there was a house to call home. I was thrilled because I had been looking for a place that I could volunteer. It's something that I always wanted to do to become involved in the community and so I, was, I couldn't wait for the house to open. So I was one of the very first volunteers to take a shift and I've just stuck with it. It's very easy for me to dedicate or offer to at least two evenings um, each month to come and volunteer at the house in the evening after I've worked. Judy believes her efforts for the last 25 years has made things just a little bit easier for many, many families, and she's right. You're serving a, a part of the community that really is in a, a desperate situation. Having a child that's illness turns your life upside down. In order for that child to heal, it's great to have the parents be in a situation where one less stress, one less barrier is for, uh, they have a place to stay, rest, do their laundry, find a meal or make a meal for themselves. It reduces that stress and it's just that to me is just so much part of get, helping to get these children better. For volunteers Tommy, Carol Ann and Leslie Ann Wilson, volunteering at the Ronald McDonald House is a family affair and is very rewarding and humbling for them. These families are under a lot of stress and the house offers them a place to be of safety and comfort and food and uh, people to be here to listen to them. And so it's, it's, that's very rewarding to me to think that we can help any way when these people need this in this very trying situation. We do it as a family and then our extended family supports us as well. So it's really nice that we can all do it together and support the Ronald McDonald House. For the Wilsons, the staff, other volunteers, even the families have become that extended family. <laughs> you feel a duty and a, and a responsibility and you also are coming to see your friends. I mean, we, we like come into the to the planning committee meetings because we haven't seen Heather in a while and want to see pictures of her kids. Or we bought wrapping paper from one of Liz's girls and we need to bring her a check or whatever it is. And, and then we also have responsibilities to check off our list. Some of the cutest kids you'll find anywhere that pass through this house. And most of them have a big smile on their face. <laughs> There are many volunteers who thrive on supporting the house with special event projects and fundraising efforts to help support the house. One of those longtime fundraising volunteers is one Pam Zimmerman. She, through her sorority, began supporting the house before it was built. 
we were delighted, both personally and our alum association, that we were actually going to be able to do more than just support houses in other places. So we jumped right in and I was uh, pleased to be able to be a part of the group that presented the initial Alpha Delta Pi check to the house in 1987 at a kickoff campaign uh, for the Nashville house. And why does she believe volunteers are so devoted to this house? It's a warm and fuzzy feeling. Um, it fosters that feeling of giving back and we do this because we've been blessed in so many ways and can return that. The house is indeed blessed with so many committed volunteers who continuously lend their time, talents, and always their love to the Ronald McDonald House.